Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this new series we're going to be creating a Chrome extension that will appear in our new tab that's going to allow us to add in um, a number of different notes and it's sort of inspired by Notion so I'm going to call it new tab Notion. So in this first video we're going to go through what the actual extension will look like and start to prepare our um, Firebase app and set up the actual files we need for our extension. And in the next video we'll go into a little bit more detail in actually creating the first steps that we need to make our extension connect to our database so we can send information to and from the database for our new notes. So here you can see um, on my screen this is the extension that we're going to be creating so far. So we have um, a title, we have our sort of area we can add our note just here. We can change the emoji that the note will have. So if you see if I change this and save it'll update over here. I can click on my different notes and if I open a new tab, it will stay on whatever note I was working on before. So if I make changes and save and then create a new tab, you can see that these changes um, are, are kept. Now this all works using a Chrome extension and a database. Um, so the database that we use is from Firebase. So I'll just show you now a quick overview of the sort of files that we need for this. So I'm using Atom um, for, these, for this extension. So for the manifest, it's quite straightforward. So we down here, we use this Chrome URL override. So this basically means we're replacing one of the Chrome pages with our own content. So in this example here, it's the new tab. And we just pass through the location in our folder of our extension. So this is the new tab.html. So it means if we go to a new tab, it will load this page instead. Up here we just have our name, our version, our description. This is all sort of standard stuff. And then we have a background.html page as well. This is important. This is where we make our connection to Firebase. So if you've seen any of my previous videos on how to use Firebase within a Chrome extension, you'd have a good idea of this already. But I'll go over um, how you can connect that all again as well. But that's what the background page is for. And the same thing down here with the content security policy. This is to make sure that our extension has permissions to make calls to the Firebase URL and to the Firebase database so we can send data to and from our database. So this is what the background HTML page will do. It's quite straightforward. So it just connects the um, information that we need for our Firebase connection, so our database. And then we just call this Firebase JavaScript file just here. So in the first part of the, the um, series, we're going to just be making the display of our extension. So this will be how to create notes, how to send them to the database, how to save them, how to delete them. And then in the next part, we'll look into how we can actually add authorization as well. So we can create different users. And then if you actually wanted to publish this from the Chrome store, that would be an important step because otherwise you'd have lots of different people using and seeing the same notes. So we would need to add in security and user information. So we'll add that towards the end, but for the first part, we just want to make it um, so we get to a similar page as what we have right here. So you can have every time you open a new tab, you can change them and delete them and create new notes. So for here, I just click new note, set an emoji up here, set the um, information for my note and click save. And then you can see that's added down here. And if I go to a new tab, that's kept. So that's what we're going to be building first. So in this video, we're just going to be creating the Firebase app. So if you go to um, firebase.google.com and click on add new project and just log in with your Google account, it will ask us to enter a name for our project. So I'll just paste this in. So I'm going to call it new tab notes and then click continue. It will ask if you want to have analytics. I'm not going to use this, but you can if you want. Then just click create project and that'll create everything we need for our project. Okay, so once that's done, just click continue. And then all we need to do next is click on this icon just here that says web, because we need to get the API information for our extension. So we just paste in again our name here. We don't need to add Firebase hosting just yet, but if you wanted to add a website for your extension, you could do that there as well. But all we need to do is register our app and then get the SDK information. So we'll just connect this just here and then make sure to take a note of this. So just copy this um, SDK information and put it into a file somewhere just so you have this for later on in the series. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it 
in a new window and new tab on Atom. So I've got that just here. So make sure you've got that saved somewhere. And then all you need to do is click continue to the console. And then we're just gonna go across to our database. So I'll first show an example using the um, real-time database. And then at the end, I'll show you how you can do this with Firestore as well. So you just need to scroll down here to the real-time database and click create database. And to begin with, we're just gonna say start in test mode, which means that um, anyone can read and write information, don't have to be a logged in user. But later on again, we'll go through and make sure that we add these extra security settings as well. But whilst we're just getting the um, first part up and running, and whilst you're only using it on your computer, it's fine to use the test mode. So just click start in test mode and then click enable. Okay, and then you're all set up. So in the next video, we're going to go through creating our actual files and connecting the um, SDK information that we got from Firebase just there and start to actually set up the basic styling that we need. So if we have a look again, we wanna make sure that we have this sidebar over here and this sort of main area, the buttons that we need, how to add this emoji selector and obviously the areas for our title and our body. So that's what we're gonna be doing in the next video and creating all of the files that we need for our extension. So I'll see you in the next part of this video, which I'll be adding in the next couple of days. So be sure to check out on the channel when this is uploaded. You can subscribe if you wanna find out exactly when this is there. Um, but I'm gonna try and get these uploaded and created as soon as possible because I think this will be a great extension um, to make. Um, since I created it, I've been using this extension all the time. So hopefully you find this useful. Feel free to like this video and subscribe if you wanna stay up to date with this new series. Thanks for watching.